Well, guys, here we are. It's um, been a fun little journey. But this is my last video. This is the final video that I'm going to do. Of the Greek Vapes miniseries, because I've only got one more of them left. So, that was probably mean, wasn't it? That was a little bit mean. I'm sorry. It's only the last one of my Greek Vapes mini-series. I've still got a lot more to uh, do as part of the regular programming. But this is the last Greek Vape. For now, I'll probably end up going back to Greece and getting some more at some point. So there might be a mini-series too at some point, maybe. I don't know. But I think I've saved the coolest looking one to last. This is the SKE or Sky Crystal TB600. It's a watermelon ice flavour. And it's 600 puffs. Um, how much did I pay for this again? Let me quickly check my notes. Eight euros and fifty cents. I paid for this one. So again, I'm not sure what that works out at. I'll put it down here somewhere in the video what the exchange rate is and everything. Uh, let me get my gloves out as well. There's the gloves. In terms of flavour, this was possibly one of the. Well, I was going to say it's one of the worst. It's not one of the worst. It's actually acceptable. I've had a lot better watermelon ice. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about the flavour. It's not good. It's not bad. It's kind of meh. Somewhere in the middle. The in... in when I talk about Ketum Talk, the inhale is actually reasonable. It's not too restrictive. It is a tiny bit on the tight side, but it is a reasonable one to use. It's not that bad. In terms of duration, it's a 600 puff, and I think I got about 450 out of it. And I've saved this one for last because I really like the design of this one. I kind of didn't really want to tear it apart because I don't know what you think about it, but I kind of think it looks a little bit cool. That's the only reason I've saved this one for the end. For the final video in the mini series of Greek Vapes. But I'm hoping, as it's the final one, it will be a quick and easy one. It looks like it's just the bottom that needs to pop off. And if I'm being honest, I think the coolest bit is just the plastic shell around the outside. Probably should mention as well, it's got three air holes on the bottom. I think two of them are air holes and one is for the sensor. But we'll find out momentarily. Right, so the bottom did come off quite easy. Yeah, there's two holes there. So yeah, it's got two air holes and the hole for the sensor. Now that I've got you off, is the entire thing just going to slide out? Yep, there it is. So most SKE crystal bars have a solid plastic thing that goes all the way around. I think this is why I like this one. It's just, it's got cutouts. It looks so much cooler. I really appreciated that. Right, let's see. That's pushing out quite easy from the top. So let's just push that out. All the way. There we go. So the guts are now out completely. Oh, it's a white wire instead of a blue one. And the circuit board is white. Or the back of the sensor is white anyway. Does that mean we're going to get something different here? Let me just isolate the battery real quick. 
cut off the sensor and isolate the battery from the tank. There we go. So I'll come back to the tank in a minute. While I've got the battery, let's do the battery first. So it is an SKE branded battery. It's a 13300. 3.7 volts at 1.30 watt hours production date so it was line four production line four made on the 7th of the 5th 2024 no that was not far or not long before i actually went on holiday yeah, I know, I know. It's took me a while to get round to these. So that's the battery done. Let's have a look at this sensor because that is a little bit different. It's got a white back and a white wire instead of the usual blue one. So is this going to be a different sensor? Because they've all, the last few we've done have all been six point sensors. So let's have a look in here. What are you going to be? It's not coming off too easy. Oh, it's actually fighting me a little bit. Right, I've got enough off to see that it is a six point sensor. So it's just a slightly different design to the usual six point sensor. And for the final time, let's have a look at the last tank for my Greek vapes. So there's the top rubber seal. And the bottom one, I'm going to need tweezers to get them off. Not tweezers, pliers. Because that is in quite firm. It's fighting me. No, let's just go in from the top and push it out that way. Go on. Oh, I had to put a lot of force into that one. Oh, I actually did some damage. But let's get the sponge off. And the wick came with it. The wick is still in the sponge. And the wick looks surprisingly clean. We have had some bad burns in these Greek vapes. So to see a wick that's clean kind of gives me some hope. Uh, I do realise this is, looks a bit dirty now where I've done that in. But I think that's dirt off my tweezers rather than anything else. Uh, pliers, sorry. So let's give it a squeeze. There's not much left in that at all. No, I'm probably going to say that this is another one. We have had a couple like this. I think we had another one in this Greek series as well, where the battery ran out just as the fluid was about to run out. So that's what you want in an e-cig you want the e-liquid to run out just as the battery dies that way you've got the maximum use out of it there's no evidence of burn on that sponge clean up and let's remove the rubber seal there it is and let's just have a look. If I get the coil out of the bracer, I think this will be a mesh coil. Go and let's see if I can strip the wicking material off. Oh no, there is some burn. There's some quite. I actually no, I was going to say there's some severe burn, but we have seen much worse. 
But you can see the black bits on that coil. That's the burn. And then here is the wicking material. So it had started to burn, but it's not burnt enough. You can still see the pattern of the mesh. So it's burnt, but not badly burnt. That's pretty much it. We've done that in 10 minutes. Quite impressed. I suppose, as it's our last chance on these Greek vapes, we should at least see if it will give us a little bit of a light show. So let me grip a corner. Squeeze them together a bit. I'm hoping this, even though it's burnt, which means it will probably fall apart in two seconds, I'm hoping it gives us something of a light show. So here we go. Whew, there's quite a bit of smoke come off that. And it did just disintegrate itself within a second. At least we got a little bit of a light show for our final video in the Greek vape series. Kind of impressed with all of that, if I'm honest. Yeah, I'm very impressed. But there we go, guys. That is it. That is the last teardown in my Greek Vapes mini-series. So that means I need to find something else to put on Wednesdays now. I'll have to have a think and uh, figure something out for Wednesdays. But my regular Monday and Friday videos will carry on. Um, they're not stopping. It's only the Wednesday ones that will stop now that we've finished the Greek fates. But yeah, kind of a bittersweet moment for me. But that is where I'm going to leave it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. It really is appreciated. If you're not yet subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button down below. I'm on the push for 500 subscribers. And if you would as well, hit that like button whatever side it's on that side that side it's somewhere it really does help out the channel a lot and i really do appreciate it and if you do leave me a comment i do try and reply to as many comments as i can so i'll see you down in the comments oh and check in the description as well for a link to my patreon i have quite a few exclusive things on there just for my patreon subscribers so have a look down there and if you want to join up please do but for now, guys, that is where I'm going to leave it. So thank you so much for watching today. It really is appreciated. And I'll see you back in the regular programming. So, um, bye.